What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock. Guys, it was an extremely rough week. We can all agree with that. Um, this was a massive, massive week for options expiration. I know that everybody, you know, doesn't play options, but it is a, a part of the market that does, you know, make swings back and forth, uh, depending on, you know, where the options are at. And guys, I mean, there is some crazy, crazy price action on SoFi, uh, extremely correlated to the options, sadly, because these were the options that were basically the beginning of the year, 2024 leaps that people were buying one to two years out so i mean these were massive massive open interests and these were very very targeted in my personal opinion i'm going to show you guys you know the manipulation on the sofi stock basically the sofi stock right now is not moving off of any fundamentals whatsoever so if you find any of this information useful be sure to smash the like button don't forget to drop a comment and please subscribe to the channel uh, we're going to be keeping you updated daily guys i really recommend you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification i'm going to be going live you know during the sofi earnings and you know we get about you know eight to ten thousand viewers you know on these regular youtube videos i would like to see you know maybe two thousand people potentially streaming live you know near the earnings guys comment section blowing up and you know hopefully of course we get a good outcome and sofi blows it out of the water so I'll be up really, really early. I don't know exactly what time when the earnings come out and stuff like that. But uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, check this out. This is a guy I follow online on uh, Twitter. This is Michael, I assume, Roland. And uh, you can see right here, he was posting, uh, you know, basically, this was a day ago, guys. This was not today. This was yesterday, okay? Options max pain for today, a day prior uh seven dollars and fifty cents okay you could just see guys these are the leaps we're talking crazy open interest in between the puts and calls bears and bulls on both sides look at the price action guys today 749 at the close 751 in the after hours literally i mean that post that he said was exactly right i mean it's not easy to point down the price action to the nearest penny. So why did the stock hit this exact price at the close? Basically, what happened was there's market makers out there that can, you know, move stocks like a SoFi, of course, you know, with, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars and put the stock right on the money where it needs to be by shorting, covering, puts, calls, so many different types of tactics. But they were able to put this bad boy right on the money and basically what happens is this was able to destroy the most amount of puts for the bears and also the most amount of uh calls you know for the bulls so basically nobody won in the end of course you know the bears have won the past two weeks you know on the massive downside but specifically this week this was for nobody to win at all so guys take a look at this this is the uh, expiration for this week for the calls and puts. January 19th, these, of course, you know, are gone. Next week, you know, they're, they're going to start fresh. But take a look, guys. At the top right here, all of these are the calls, okay? Bullish. And all of these down here are the puts. The strikes are 250 to 12 for the puts and about 254 to uh, 12 for the calls. Now, take a look at this, guys. Remember that price? seven dollars and fifty cents so we're gonna look at the call so think about it everything above 750 you know is gonna get annihilated and take a look right here 750 okay guys this number right here is you know the bid you know how much they're worth or asking look guys zero 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 seven fifty and above toast for the calls we're gonna go down to the puts take a look at the puts guys seven dollars and fifty cents zero all the way down to two dollars uh two dollars fifty cents zero 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 and then of course above you know was uh in the money so guys there you see it this is a tactic market makers use is it illegal uh, who knows i mean i don't know how they do it but they are able to do it move stocks in any direction that they want to not pay out these puts and calls. This is what they do to keep, you know, puts and calls basically in control, guys. I mean, you see the post, 750 max pain. This was on Thursday and it landed right on the money, guys. And you could see 
how much of those puts and calls everybody uh, bearish or bullish got destroyed. So guys, SoFi is not going off of fundamentals at all. As you can see right now, the stock is just getting manipulated to hell heading into earnings. I believe the shorts are fully baked into the stock. They need a lot of covering to do. So I think next week we should have a relief rally because we went down 30%. We pretty much bounced off the bottom, what, 2% today? Taking a look at some other stocks, you know, we got about uh, 10 other growth stocks right here, tech heavy, uh, fintechs, uh, coin, break even today, hood 0 0.3, new 1.10, SoFi 1.3. So hey, SoFi got a little bit of a more relief rally than three other growth names, and then a couple in the twos, Palantir Square, Lending Club, and then a firm 5%, and then of course, PayPal uh, was the big winner today. So guys, um, Everything today had a little bit of a recovery bounce towards the end of the day, last second. I think it's not just SoFi. Everything uh, had that big, big expiration for the leaps. So I just want you guys to understand, I mean, this is a part of the market. You know, you're going to get manipulated uh, time to time. Now that the calls and puts, you know, way less volume and open interest, uh, probably these next couple of weeks, you know, they might let the stock run up real quick heading into earnings. And then, um, you know, there's no telling what's going to happen after earnings, but I believe, you know, this is going to be the best earnings that SoFi has ever seen. And we may be able to hit, you know, a crazy, crazy price action in the after hours because, you know, the shorts really can't do nothing. If we get more institutions inside of this stock, you know, that don't want to invest in those legacy banks. So I really had to show you this stuff, guys. I mean, it's absolutely insane, wild. Uh, we know that SoFi is getting screwed got screwed the past uh, couple of weeks for sure. And today was another day of, you know, just getting screwed. Made to the, the video, I wanna say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. Be sure to smash the like button. And don't forget to drop a comment. I'm gonna be commenting back to all you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button, guys. We're gonna be going live. I would really, really love to see, you know, 2,000 people live on the stream and everybody, you know, in excitement if we have that blowout profitable quarter we've been waiting for. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.